Hello everybody, May 7th, going through the morning marketing report. Let's see what we have, some market activity today. So starting off, we have 551 Foam Street. This is actually a commercial mixed use building that's been gutted and turned into a high class condo. Uh, it's pretty much in the raw, it needs to be completely put back together. Um, uh, I don't know how much you could actually make on this on a flip, because I looked at this property and considered it. Um, this is kind of something that I'm interested in. The price point on the entry level just doesn't quite make sense on what you can end up doing with it. But if you're looking to build and looking to kind of create a multifamily from scratch, this is a great raw potential. Just don't know about that original price point into the market. Three bedroom, two bath, 1659 Waring, or excuse me, 1659 at 1061 Waring Street. Uh, it's the south side of town. That's fantastic. Um, the problem is, that that 659 just seems like a little steep for a thousand square foot unit. It does have the second bathroom. Um, probably, I would say, it's going to close closer to six. Uh, 31 Via Desconso. I think we did cover on that one yesterday due to the size of the property, great location in the Vias. Uh, it's a pretty interesting home. Now, we have Hacienda in Hacienda Carmel, 551. Uh, I don't really typically touch on those. Don't really touch on Salinas. Okay, so we have 2726 Prado del Sol. This is a beautiful four bedroom, five bath, 4,500 square foot, huge house. This is at 3395 in Carmel, Carmel Valley. Uh, this is a sweet property. If you're looking for a big, spacious area with plenty of beds and baths, beautifully refinished, this is a really good property. Great lifestyle as well. And then this one did not provide any info. Cruising over to price decreases. What do we have? 1450 Susan Way over in Pebble. It's dropped down to almost 3 million. So basically 3.1 from originally being at 3.5. It's over by 17 mile drive. Just talked back. I mean, all things considered, in this location, over this close to the lodge, this is a smoking deal. In fact, I'm going to be over showing a different property in this general location later today. And I'm definitely thinking uh, I'm going to be cruising by and at least doing an exterior drive by on this property because this is kind of striking me as almost lot value. Three quarters of an acre right next to the lodge. Pretty good deal for three million bucks. Uh, right. Transactions that fell through. Doherty Place, uh, we touched on this one when it went into escrow, right across from the crossroads, a little bit up the hill, kind of tucked back close to Karma Valley Road. Get a little bit of noise uh, pollution from that Karma Valley Road, but man, oh man, do you get a decent amount of house for a good price point. Four bedrooms, three baths, over 2,000 square foot, over half an acre, although I don't know how much of that is usable. Uh, and they're only asking 1185. Um, I think this property is going to end up going for a really good deal. So I'm just going to be in the Carmel School District um, for a great family home. Then we have going contingent, 4540 Peninsula Point Drive. Uh, if you're looking for big old houses and bang for your buck, Seaside Highlands is a great place to look. It's a great HOA. Everything's kind of tightly knit. You know what you're going to get. You know your neighbors aren't going to let their houses deteriorate or slip very low. Shoot, if you have chip and paint on the fence, the neighbors will reach out to you and let you know. So it's one nice way to know that your quality of neighbor is going to stay and that neighboring homes are going to stay up. Very nice. Um one thing I do have to say about this one is Seaside Highlands typically has some of the lowest price per square foot anywhere on the peninsula. And it's just one of those places where you can get bang for your buck in a good neighborhood. Um, let me see. That was contingent pending. 668 Spazier Avenue and Pacific Grove um, listed at 13 or basically 14. It was a 22, 1200 square foot. Man, oh man. PG market just continues to impress me. The closer I look, the more activity and the stronger it gets. I'm interested to see how that one ends up closing. And then do we have we have no sales today. All right, guys, thanks for tuning in. I'm going to be out and about all day long checking the properties. So, 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 if you want to hear any feedback, anything, any tours, any sort of digital tours or virtual tours, 
please let me know. Don't hesitate to ask.